A Team 10 consumer alert tonight. The more we rely on smartphones, the more data we want and the more antennas we need. But at what cost? Workers say they're getting injured working on those antennas and the constant push for more towers is putting them at risk. Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severin joins us. And Kristen, you talked to a San Diego company with a solution to keeping them safe. Yeah, there are 600,000 cell phone tower sites in the United States. They're everywhere on the sides of buildings, streetlights, water tanks. But Team 10 learned thousands of those towers violate federal rules that are supposed to keep workers safe. It hurts like how Benjamin know? Revis has worked on cell phone towers for 14 years. I was dealing with them day in and day out. He quit after an antenna that should have been powered down was still live. Physically burned my hand. The burn is a work injury you can see. You get burned on the outside, but internally it, it, it blisters. Other problems he said caused by the towers aren't as easy to spot. Depression and I got I get headaches from time to time and uh, mood swings and stuff. Revis is one of 250,000 workers a year. An insurance rating agency said gets too close to these antennas. They act as an open microwave and can cause eye damage, sterility, and cognitive damages. What we're going to go do is well, I'm going to show you the invisible footprint of these potentially hazardous areas that workers don't see. Drew Fountain has a $20,000 meter that measures the RF frequencies. And the amount of power that really comes off a lot of these antennas. He co-founded RF Check. We talk about. A San Diego company that tracks where every tower is in the U.S. There's 22. An 25. RF frequency over 20% can injure people. Over 100% can burn someone. We're over the limit for the workers. Cell phone tower workers, roofers, painters, anyone that comes in contact with the antennas. I got a, a 150 reading this morning. Many tower sites have these signs. Does anybody even see these? Signs are dismissed by workers. This doesn't really say anything beyond this point. The law requires that the workers be made aware of these areas before they get near them. And that's not being done today. Since 1985, the FCC has required workers be made aware of these dangers, but doesn't say how to alert them. The FCC gave notice of a proposed rule change two years ago for the cell companies and site owners to figure out the how. Recognize what these are. Fountain said that hasn't happened. Phone providers are looking the other way and not protecting the little guy. From here to here is the RF danger zone. Fountain wants workers to know about these areas before they show up to any cell phone site. Fountain helped develop RF check to do just that the only comprehensive database of every wireless antenna in the nation. They're working with the FCC to get it used across the entire industry. Workers would check the tower sites before any job. RF check would be paid for like E911. That's the fee we pay for emergency services. So you could see a few cents more on your cell phone bill, but they are still trying to figure out that exact amount. I'm Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance. All right, Kristen.